Did you see that movie? Or have you seen that movie? Which one would be the correct way to ask that question? Well, it really depends on which situation. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ehab and this is English in 10, uh, where we introduce some aspect of English, we practice it, uh, and then at the end, we try to test our knowledge and see what we have learned. Uh, and hopefully we can do this all in 10 minutes or about 10 minutes. Uh, the topic for today is going to be present perfect and past tense. Uh, and in what situations do I use just past tense? And in what situations do I use present perfect? So the focus is really going to be on present perfect uh, as far as what the meaning is when we use present perfect. Um, what are the parts? Okay, uh, and then what terminology do we use uh, usually when we use that particular grammar tense? So anyways, let's go ahead and go to the board. Okay, so let's talk about present perfect first. Okay, uh, first of all, the meaning for present perfect, uh, it usually means when we use this grammar uh, tense uh, that we start something in the past and it continues until now, until the present time. Uh, that's one reason why we use it. A second reason why we use it, uh, we use it when it is some sort of time that you are talking about in the past, but it's unspecified. Unspecified means we don't know when. We don't know when it occurred. All right, there's no specific time. Uh, the parts, okay, there's basically two parts, okay? Uh, you either need to use have or has plus the past participle, okay? Now, uh, if you have subjects like I or you or we, uh, it's going to be have, all right? Uh, and then the past participle. Uh, a lot of times uh, it is the same as the past tense, but sometimes it is not, okay? Now, if we change the subject, Tom or Lisa or he has studied for two hours. Now, if you guys take a look at these examples, in one example, I use the word since, and then in a second example, I use the word for. So what's the difference between both of those? Well, when we use since, we are talking about a beginning time, okay? For example, they have worked since 10 a.m. When we talk about for, we are talking about an amount of time. Uh, they have worked for four hours. Okay. Okay, uh, the next examples that I'm going to show on the board are going to be the words uh, or phrases that we normally use with the present perfect. All right. Uh, some of them uh, we've already talked about before, which are since and for, but there are other ones as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at these examples. Okay, so again, when we use the word for, we are talking about an amount of time. Okay, for example, they have watched a movie for three hours. Okay, uh, when we say since, it's going to be a beginning time. Uh, they have watched a movie since 12 p.m. A lot of times when we use the word yet, yet, yet means something has not happened. Okay, something didn't happen yet. So for example, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. That means from the beginning of waking up until now, no breakfast, all right? Um, so whenever we use yet, we use the word not. It should be negative, okay? Now, we can also use it with the word still. I still haven't eaten breakfast. Again, notice the position of where I put yet. Usually when we say yet, it comes at the end. When we put still, generally speaking, it's more in the beginning, usually right after the subject, okay? Now, other phrases or words that we use, for example, the weather has been cold recently. The weather has been cold lately. The weather has been cold the past few weeks. Keep in mind, when I say the past few weeks, this does not mean past tense. It means present perfect. It means going back a couple weeks in the past and there's a connection until right now. So anyways, these are the wordings that we usually use with present perfect.
Okay, the next board is going to show past tense. Okay, let's talk about past tense now. So let's take a look at the examples I have on the board. All right. um, keep in mind, past tense means something is completed. It's something that is completed at a specified time. Specified time means we know exactly, exactly when that action was completed. Okay, uh, it's different from present perfect. So present perfect, uh, I have traveled to Australia. Past tense is I traveled to Australia last year. So we need that specific time. So let's take a look at the example. Tom played baseball yesterday. That's my specific time. Lisa took an exam last week. That's my specific time. They traveled to Asia two years ago. Okay? Keep in mind, when we say ago, that's past. It's done and it's completed. I ate a lot of pizza when I was young. When I say when I was young, this is what we call a time clause. Uh, and a time clause is also considered a specific time in English. Okay, so all of these would be instances where I would use past tense. Okay, all right guys, let's go ahead and try to practice. Okay, let's talk about past tense now. So let's take a look at the examples I have on the board. All right, um, keep in mind, past tense means something is completed. It's something that is completed at a specified time. Specified time means we know exactly, exactly when that action was completed, okay? Uh, it's different from present perfect. So present perfect, uh, I have traveled to Australia. Past tense is I traveled to Australia last year. So we need that specific time. So let's take a look at the example. Tom played baseball yesterday. That's my specific time. Lisa took an exam last week. That's my specific time. They traveled to Asia two years ago. Okay, keep in mind, when we say ago, that's past. It's done and it's completed. I ate a lot of pizza when I was young. When I say when I was young, this is what we call a time clause. Uh, and a time clause is also considered a specific time in English. Okay, so all of these would be instances where I would use past tense. Okay, all right guys, let's go ahead and try to practice.